Hello, Jareth Garza here, and I wanted to go through my app with you guys. We're going to jump right into it. This app puts the uh, Locksmith Academy right into your pocket. Anywhere you have a cell phone with internet, Wi-Fi, or uh, anything really, you can do this on your programmer as well, or your key machine. So we're going to open up the Lightspeed VT app. There it is. And we are going to go through real quick and see exactly what we have. Now, you can go through my other videos as well and kind of see where I lead you. But here, we will go and see my report card. We'll show you your progress and what you've learned, what you've done, what you failed at. Basically, the stepping stones towards your success. Your improvement is measured here. And I actually cleared mine because uh, I was going through the entire program writing test questions for the courseware. And so it was actually showing that I was completing my own school and everything was looking too green, you know? So we're gonna go, it's cheating. I, I already knew the answers and stuff. I wrote the questions. So I was just like, eh, let's, let's reset my progress. The file vault. Now I really wanna show you guys this. This is really great. File vault. Something I believe um, has limitless potential in which I can show um, lessons via PDF or printable formats, Word, you know, documents and stuff like that. I uh, will go to my files, a few of my files. We have EEPROM guides, MCU, pinouts, target module locations. Uh, there were a couple of motorcycle guides as well that we will be adding there. We'll go to EEPROM guides. And typically these will open up or uh, they'll, open, they'll download immediately, usually. Let's take a look. Click. There it goes at the top, downloading. Pacifica Scream. We're going to open it up. Hmm. What would be the best? I don't know. We'll do Drive just once. Hmm. This is something I made. I made this. This is mine. So this is actually uh, the older one. Um, the, the newest one I did has a Pacifica on the front cover. Like it shows like this is the car it comes from. But no, nonetheless, this is basically the entire process. I actually sent this to a guy. I talked to him to uh, today. And uh, he got done with a, a Pacifica because of this, uh, this PDF I sent him. That's a bad mamma jamma. Mm. You see, I thought to myself, write a book, but they'll just copy it like they did Stacy Hetchler's. Hetchler, it sucks what they did to you. No one will ever be happy about that. So we're going to do the Type 2 VPW skim. Oh, how I, Gen 1. I love Type 2 systems. Mm. Mm, that's a good brew. Mm. Getting a phone call from Texas. Man, I've been dead all day. And they want to call me when it's raining at damn near 10 o'clock. They're going to have to wait. So here we are. We, uh, have the, we have the Type 2 Gen 1. And that came from my sister's car. I did her car for fun one time. And you can see it's not a bad PDF. I, uh, I really try to go hard when I do my, my work. Yeah, look at all that. That's phenomenal, you know? Who does this for you? So there's always gonna be more that is done for you guys. We'll go out of the file vault. And you see, that's just like one little, mm, uh, a little taste, mm, wipe it off. Oh gosh, I'm gonna feed you seconds, don't worry about it. Thirds, fourths, and fifths, however much you want, I'm gonna give it to you. And so there's gonna eventually be a lot of there. A lot, a lot, yes, all and a lot put together. I put the who and who what? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you heard right. So Jared Garz is going to go strong like he always does when it comes to your education. I'm going to put Land Rover in there. I'm going to put BMW. I'm going to put whatever I want. And whatever I want to do is everything. So it's all going to go in there eventually. And that's just for your convenient, uh, convenience. Because we will also have the, uh, the videos that cover most of that subject matter as well. 
But the whole point of the file vault is so that you can print it out and build your own book if you want to. Laminate the PDFs and use them in the rain and be like, damn, this rain sucks. Thank God I laminated this PDF that Jareth wrote me so it doesn't get destroyed and it's free. Comes with the Academy, thelocksmithacademy.com. Get your education now. So we're gonna go to, we've already shown training center. Yeah, well, let's go back down to the training center. We're gonna go into the training center and those who haven't signed up for the free week, you know you're missing out, man. So let's just go into the Chrysler Fiat category real quick. And you're gonna see that your CY24 Leashy and key system is completely covered. It's all here. I'm gonna leash you this uh, door, decode it so that we. We're gonna go. Actually, space two is the one, so we're gonna skip it. We're going three, two, two. Space five is four, six is two, seven is one, eight is two. That is one side of the key cut. Very simple looking key. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna skip uh, space one and two because two is a one. Space three is two, four, two, five is a four, six is two, seven is one, eight is two. I'm gonna pop it out. We should have a symmetrical key, which we do. I'm gonna put this in my pocket and we're gonna test it out. There's actually a working prox nearby, which is why the car is unlocking. But as you see, oh hell. I accidentally hit the wrong button, I ended my screen recording. So we're gonna reinitiate that. It's always so inconvenient where they put that. Skip the countdown. Back, all right. So back on the screen recording, and you see SIP22 people be like, oh my God, you only got three. Yeah, well, one of them is really good, and the other two are just as good. So 60% of the time, it works all the time, as they say on the Anchorman. Fobix is easily covered, uh, it's super easy. You know, Fobix, come on, girl. So Chrysler programming, mm, we got 26 examples. Um, shoot, type two, non-transponder to, you know, prox. Hell, I might even have uh, one where I use my universal watch just for fun. And Chrysler by model is great. We'll click that because we can always go back from there real easy. So you see we have all of these models listed and there's content in all of them, it looks like. And there's always going to be uh, collect collections occurring in, you know, every direction. So anytime we uh, accrue any more content, we add it for you. Because this is the locksmithacademy.com where we don't take you for granted, nor your education. Chrysler EEPROM is always going to be growing. Chrysler EEPROM is great for beginners because there's Pacifica, you know, the screen modules. My favorite Type 2, you know, uh, the Type 2 was uh, always a pain. It's always a pain. Especially when you're in a hurry, it won't want to delete keys or something, or it won't pull the pin code. It'll be like, F you, and you're like, no, I don't have time for this. Well, you prom it. We show you how to do that. Skim modules is going to be your Type 2 and everything else, your CAN 4, your CAN 1. Here we have a 24 C16 in circuit versus out of circuit. That's kind of, uh, oh, um, I was swinging my, you know, woohoo at people who are saying that out of circuit is the best method, Jared. Out of circuit is safe. Out of circuit this. When I do in circuit, I probe this little guy and I don't remove it. Now those guys who are saying out of circuit, Jared, will have to desolder solder to adapter, desolder, solder back to board. And I never touch it with heat. So, you know, the, the jury's out on that one, I suppose. CAN1 RS, that should be a 9S12 microcontroller. Shouldn't be R, it should be 9S12 microcontroller. I'll, I'll have to go back in and modify that. What is up with that RS12 stuff? I didn't do that. So we've got two CAN1 microcontroller scenarios. Um, 
We have a 99 Dodge Intrepid in the crack city or uh, in the hood where I uh, fudged it up. You know, on this particular car, it was a, uh, a Gen 1, meaning you have to EEPROM it to pull the pin code. Even MVP Pro, Smart Pro, etc. couldn't pull the uh, pin code through OBD because it's this Gen 1, basically, immobilizer system. So you have to pull the antenna, you know, either cut the back, which is ghetto, or uh, lift the board off the two pins of the antenna and flip it and read the SOIC8 uh, EEPROM device. Now, when I did that, I broke the, uh, the continuity of the circuit uh, from the trace pads where the pins of the antenna connect to the rest of the board. But I show you how to fix that because I'm a G. And that's, 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 that's some kind of stuff that no one shows, all right? That's like Lewis Rossman kind of stuff, but automotive. And there's a ton of examples that I can teach you on, you know, stuff like that, like memory, you know, recovery or, you know, donor module swapping and stuff, uh, you know, just a whole bunch. Type 2 VPW EEPROM, that actually, I don't know what that is because there's three different Type 2s. There's Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. So Gen 1 is an SOIC8, Gen 2 is an HCO8 AZ32, no lifty of leggies. And Gen 3 is an HCO8 AZ32 with a lifty of one leggy. So yeah, that one I will click on. Let's see what happens. Woot. I got a target module that I have been. Let's take a look. Oh, we probing it. I I'm Mr. In Circuit in this this house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and it kills me how slow HCO8 AZ32 microcontrollers can read. Yes. Verified. So there is that Zero. right there. We are going to go to Chrysler Pacifica Systems. Yeah. Screen module repair, because I once messed one up accidentally. I cut too far towards the antenna. No big deal. Um, yeah. So that's some good stuff for learning. Um, quick money-making skills with EEPROM and Mopar. So there's just that within your free trial. I mean, there's got to be more, right? Let's back out. Come on. So we uh, have Fobix again. I do some cool stuff with Fobix. Introduction of Fobix. I show you, um, like there's a 2018 using a gateway bypass, <clears throat> Dart. Should have a Cherokee in here somewhere. Most likely have a Cherokee in here somewhere. There it is. So, I mean, there's only so many Fobix. There's the old ones, you know, the trap door, which are superseded by the IYZ or whatever they are. And then there's uh, the RAM, the GQ453T or whatever. And then there's um, Dart and there's Cherokee. And so there's just, uh, you know, Fobix or, oh, and there's, uh, you know, the, the, the proximity Fobix as well, the keyless go or whatever they call it. And, uh, you know, there's just not much in regards to Fobix. We also show how to unlock them, you know, how to renew them. Very, very convenient and fun stuff to know. And so that's just like your free week. I don't think you can finish my, my free category in a week. Uh, I had a guy call me today. He was like, I almost did the uh, month for a grand. And uh, I, I didn't because there's no way I'd be able to finish your school in a month. And I'm like, well, that's the point. That's why we offer you a year. And it's just a lot of fun. Determining keys for Jeep split years. Now, that's just a video I shot in South Carolina uh, illustrating how a door handle can um, help clue you into the system of which you're working on. For instance, like the new Wrangler door handle that is a pull. Poof, poof, with a little thumb spot is a proximity doorknob or handle, whereas the old round style Wrangler push button style indicates that it would take an RHK heat ignition type deal. Type two VPW pulling the pin using IM508 2003 Jeep Liberty. I doubt that's my video because I have terrible luck with type two. You have 2003 Jeep Liberty. All keys lost. Let's see if it gives us a password.
So there's Eric getting the win. 2-7, 1-1. Two, seven, one, one. Two, seven, one, one. I can never win on that system, it seems. Uh, we'll go back to Chrysler Programming just to kind of fill out our our uh, our demonstration of what you get on your first week using the app. This is DMAX video, most likely right there. So there's tons of stuff, tons and tons and tons. Proximity, proximity, blah, 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 blah. You see type 2 VPW pulling the pin using VVDI prog EEPROM 508 example. What the hell is going on there? Probably a lot. So people keep asking, calling. Um, you know, Jared, uh, what do you uh, get with the uh, the free week? Well, that's what you get. You also, when you buy the program, get the app. So you can sit in bed next to your wife, you know, struggle to go to sleep because there's always the next video to watch. You can sit at dinner with your family, get distracted. You can have your morning cup of coffee while having, uh, you know, your morning sit on the toilet and sit there and study. Mm. And be like, I didn't know that. Or perhaps you did. Also on our app, we have a plethora of routes in which you can interact with us. There should be a function here. I need to take a look. Discussions. Discussions are basically the, the Facebooky kind of stuff. Give your, your post a title. Welcome to my free trial. Try it out. Won't ya? Now let's see what happens. So we'll go back to chapters. We'll hit discussion. And now you can see that Jay Garza, 12, instructor. Why is it 12? It's weird how it did that. What the fuck does that mean? 12. Anyways. Welcome to my free trial, won't you? And so you can respond to it. Super cool. Whoa, hey, what are you? Super cool. Post reply. You see, it's pretty cool. Now, there's a ton to go over in my program. And there's just not enough time on YouTube or just to, to film promos. And so the question is, do you take your time seriously? Because I take your, your, your time very seriously. Are you currently at a trade show or a convention and you spent a lot of money to get there? Probably. Now just consider that you're in a class with people who are going to ask questions that you may know. Maybe you don't. And this discussion board is an equivalent to that. Somebody may ask a really great question and there may be, you know, stupid questions, but the difference between my platform and what you're participating in now is that uh, my school and the, the, the other peers within it, their questions won't waste your time and eat up your, your class time and waste your money while you're in a different state trying to learn something new. And additionally, you're not going to get distracted by alcohol unless you're an alcoholic at home. And, uh, you know, people partying. So it's just kind of a convenient thing to have is this app in your pocket. We'll go to making car keys. We're, we're going to scroll down. I'm going to go to BMW. You're going to say, oh, there's not a lot here. That's fine. I don't care what you say because it's always going to get bigger. It's always growing. When you buy my school, this is the most minimal that it will be ever. It's always increasing in value. The first blood discount is only limited because no matter what, as we go through time, it grows, and it's always gonna grow. It will never stop, neither will I. So we're gonna do cast by EEPROM, just to kinda see something cray cray, and we are gonna jump into, let's do the first one, let's do cast three ice tap. Welcome to cast three plus plus ice tap programming. In this video, okay, you will see what happens whenever you encounter the encrypted system of CAS 3++ ISTAP. I'm first trying to connect. A key cutting code. Because like, everybody will know because they'll grow hey, hair. Hey, when you're young, you don't get it, so you sit in there. You're like, I don't have any hairs. 
And you're like, they were full of shit. I'm going back to what I was doing. Are you going to go blind? Ever heard that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, there it is. All right. Good job, Juan. Under T-Learn, ECU, CAS, ISN. We're gonna go there. And then you need the table. And we're gonna do our diagram, which I think- and You gotta match it up to the right, uh, east, or DME, right? See, I've, this is as far I got on one. What is that? That's it, yeah. MSV80. MSV80. Look at Shaka. Oh, here, here, wait, wait. MSV80. Got it. And MSV80. And here, again, is our connection diagram. That's a fun one. We're coming over there. So now you can use it. Yeah. I actually had one of these uh, MSV80s recently uh, at the mall. Like now our ISN is right here. How about that shit? How about that? Now we're gonna put new key in programmer. Excuse me. What's that? Cool. All right. Pros, they didn't get where they were just on inferring shit. You know, they, they were able to study. Me, I have, I fortunately have an auction out here to study with. That's a nifty connection, I like that. Nice. The engineer who built that. I actually thought. Yeah, he yeah. thought about the guys, not See, himself. The other... Socket. Hey, hey Greg, you got that socket? Yeah, oh. Oh, my bad. Okay. Let's go. Oh, hey, uh, tuck the uh, the corner up there first. This corner up? As the other side. Oh, yeah, guys, we did it. Woo, team effort. <laughs> what a oh, Jesus. Oh. I soldered and filmed. All right, all right, here we go. Turns on. Put on brake pool. And give it some gas to prove we have the throttle control. Check the remote. And then point at the locks. Guess what? Here, let's see. Yeah. I hear Close it. the doors. Yeah. Let's get in there like a, like a top child locked in the car. Yes. Yeah. Pop a lock, save me. And as you can see, we have a fully functioning key. I'm Jared Garza with the Locksmith Academy, and I hope you learned something new. It's pretty cool, right? So, as stated, I'm Jared Garza with the Locksmith Academy, and that's a brief brief tour of just a little pocket of my school and what I have to offer. This school will always grow. It will always get better. And I will always be adding new content for you.